Sean here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Pitbull's new song, Fireball. I'm going to break down those 16th note syncopated strum patterns for you guys. We got a capo on fret 3 today, and we only need the chords D and C. Check below, you're going to see a link to the tabs where all the stuff that you need for this tune is written out for you. Now, while you're down there, you can check out all my social media links and hit that subscribe button too if you learned something today and you want to learn some more awesome tunes in the future. I'm going to zoom in now so we can check this one out. Again, we got a capo on fret three. Let's check out the chords first and then tackle that strum pattern. D major goes like this. Your first finger on fret two of the G string, your second finger on fret two of the high E string, your third finger on fret three of the B string, strum the A to high E strings. It's gonna sound like that. C goes like this, your first finger on fret 1 of the B string, your second finger on fret 2 of the D string, and your third finger on fret 3 of the A string, strum the A to high E strings. C major, D and C are the only chords you need for this tune. We're just switching back and forth the whole time. Okay, now let's break down this strum pattern. It's a two measure pattern, but they're very similar. The only difference is, is the second time through, you don't play the first downbeat on beat one. So just take a listen. That was the whole pattern. Played it there twice so you can see how they connected together. Okay, here's how it works. You're gonna go down, up, down, down. Okay, on the D chord, you're going down, up, down, down. One E and a two and. If we're using our 16th note music language, one, a two and. Okay, switch to D, you're gonna go down, up, up. So that's again, down, up, up. So that's three, E, and, uh. Okay, down, up, down, 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 up, up. After you do that last up on the C chord, you're gonna go, which is just down, up, down. And that's gonna be four and a one. So that last down strum you just did there, these are percussive strums, take your left hand or your fretting hand and mute the strings and just go down, down, okay? That last down is gonna be the beat one of the second time through, four and a one. And then you play the pattern like you would have again, except you know, that first beat isn't there. So it's up, down, 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 up, up. Okay, at the very end of the second time, you're still gonna do a down, up, but you're not gonna finish with a, a down because that down is gonna be the next D chord. Does that make sense? So here, I'll play it really slow the whole two measure pattern. Okay, there's a couple spots in this strum pattern where I'm muting the strings with my right hand, my picking hand, so that the strums are really rhythmic and syncopated. Okay, on the D chord, it's right there. So down, up, down, down. 
On the last two downs, I am actually stopping the strings with the side of my hand so that those two chords really come out and they're separate. Not. If you add those spaces, if you stop the strings and let some rests happen, it actually makes it more danceable. Instead of. Okay? So when we're on the C chord, down, up, up. Now I'm doing another one of those on the and beat of three. Three, E, and, uh. Okay? And then also right on beat four, I'm stopping the strings too. Before the down, up on the and, uh. Really slow again. See if you can catch those stops. Okay, so that's gonna be the tune. You just play that for the whole song. I know sometimes you you stop and, and there's just some some rhythms happening, some drums, but otherwise for the the guitar parts, it's only just these two chords and it's only that rhythm. So if you got this down, it's a good little lesson on syncopated strumming. Okay, if you guys got any questions on this lesson, put them below. You can send me a message too if you need to. Hit that subscribe button if you learned this song and you want to learn some more tunes. Coming out with one song a lesson every day. My name is Sean. I appreciate all your support. I will see you tomorrow with another lesson.